In this video, we'll talk about what it means to select pixels in Photoshop. Making selections is a key first step in almost every editing process, and it gives you lots of control over editing your images. Selection is a way of highlighting certain pixels in an image file that we'd like to edit. Very often, when working in Photoshop, you'll want to make changes to some, but not all, the pixels in an image. Selection is a vital component to making precise changes such as color adjustments, layering, applying effects, just to name a few, and making sure they hit the right parts of your image and not the wrong ones. You could almost think of the pixels in your image file like the letters in a Word document. Sometimes you'll want to select individual letters to correct a typo. Sometimes you'll want to move a paragraph earlier in an essay. Other times you'll want to select all the text to apply a different font. Selection in Photoshop lets us manipulate pixel images in a very similar way. The toolbar contains three groups of selection tools. The marquee tools are used for making square, rectangular, circular, or oval shaped selections. The lasso tools can be used to draw freehand selections, straight edge selections, or selections that snap to contrasting boundaries between groups of pixels. The auto select tools use your mouse input along with an automated search of neighboring pixels to do things like separate an object from its background, expand a selection to the edges of an object, or search the entire image for similar colors. There are many commands for dealing with selections located under select in the menu bar. Here you can find tools for things like selecting all the pixels in a file or clearing a selection reversing a selection, or bringing back the last selection you made, as well as making selections across layers. There are also some additional automated selection tools that allow you to make new selections or refine existing selections. Then some tools to modify selections you've already made, making them bigger or smaller, or softening the edges, for example. There's a link to Quick Mask Mode, which allows for making or editing selections using Photoshop's brush tools. And finally, there are commands for saving or loading a selection. We'll cover the details of using each of the main selection tools in separate videos. For now, we can talk a little bit about general properties of selections in Photoshop. When a group of pixels is selected, you'll see it enclosed by a shimmery outline, which some people like to call marching ants. The pixels within that outline are the ones selected. The pixels outside are not. That means any edits we applied would only affect the selected pixels, ignoring everything else. Those edits might include copying the pixels, changing their colors, shrinking or enlarging them, applying filters, and many other possibilities, but they'll only be applied to the selected pixels. Once you're done with a selection, you can clear it by clicking Select, Deselect in the menu bar, or hitting Control D in Windows, or Command D in Mac on the keyboard. To bring the last selection back, click Select, Reselect in the menu bar, or hit Control Shift D on the keyboard in Windows, or Command Shift D in Mac. Okay, that's an overview of what it means to select pixels in Photoshop.